boys, today I'm gonna talk about entitlement and how you need to be an entitled prick to get what you want in life. Now, I'm not gonna talk about this in the sense that I'm gonna tell you how to be some Andrew Tate looking ass, you know, wannabe bottom G loser, okay? Like the dude that does like the little fruity dances. Okay, I'm not gonna teach you how to be that guy. What I'm gonna teach you how to do is be entitled to go up to anybody and meet anybody. Be entitled to let anything good happen to you. A lot of guys, and this is probably you if you're watching this video, a lot of guys think that, oh, good things probably can't happen to me. And if a good thing does happen to them, they're confused. They're like, what the fuck? Why is this good thing happening to me right now? Why does this girl like me? That's weird. That shouldn't happen to me. Why do these people think I'm cool? And so they slip into this negative self-talk, always thinking that they're below other people. They have this inferiority complex thinking that other people are always better than them. And the problem with this is that you're constantly telling yourself, not only am I worse than these people, not only am I not fitting in and I'm weird, but also nothing good can ever happen to me. And if it does happen, it's luck. It's not because I deserve it. It's not because I am entitled to good things happening to me. And that's just what it is. It sucks. That's a terrible mindset to have. The most attractive guys can go up to a woman and say, hey, I think you're attractive and I'm entitled to the fact that you might like me. I assume going in, this girl might like me. And now I'm not entitled to go on a date with her. I'm not entitled to get a text back. I'm not entitled to her number. But what I am entitled to is to meet this person because I am the same as every other motherfucking person on this planet. And that's just what it is. It's the same with you watching this video, whether you like it or not. The reason you guys like to sit at home, jerk off and play video games and do nothing with your life and feel sorry for yourself is because it feels a lot more comfortable. It's way easier to do that. It is way easier. You don't have to rewire all of these shitty beliefs your parents gave you. You don't have to rewire all the bullying that happened to you in middle school. You don't have to rewire any of this stuff. You can just continue to think, man, I'm just not meant for anything better than this. My life just sucks. And yeah, it might if you continue to sit there, for sure. But there is a reality that you could choose to live in where you could choose to be entitled to more in life. And if you started walking around, literally just walking around with an entitled mindset, your life would get better. Now, there's obviously a lot of things you need to do. You need to have a humble student mindset. You need to have all these different mindsets that'll help you at different points in your life. But a lot of you guys that are perpetually down bad, always feeling sorry for yourself, never giving yourself a chance. If you are the type of guy that thought that a girl coming up to you meant that she's playing a prank on you, which I know I used to be that guy, then you probably need to have a more entitled mindset, okay? Because lack of entitlement, zero entitlement, overly humble mindsets just leads to you being a little bitch that people walk over. It leads to you never getting what you want in life because you feel like you're not entitled to it. It leads to you having opportunities to lead and take over and do something cool for yourself, make a life that's awesome, whether it's, you know, having sex with a girl for the first time or getting the first kiss on a date or approaching that beautiful girl in public. All these things are things you could do if you just took ownership and leadership over your life, but you're not doing it because you feel like you are not entitled to do that. So what are some ways that you can start acting more entitled? Well, I already said first, you can walk around feeling like you are entitled to good things happening to you. Every time a good thing happens to you, just tell yourself, I deserve this. This is something that's supposed to happen for me. This is normal. Start normalizing good stuff. That's really important. Second, you need to start reframing negative responses responses as positives. Whether that is framing negative responses or seemingly negative responses from women as shit tests, right? And I'll make a whole video on shit tests if you guys want me to. Just let me know in the comments. Reframing those as shit tests, reframing bad things that happen to you as lessons, rejections you get as lessons for what you could do better. Even reframing things like resistance to go to the gym as a blessing that it is a thing that is worth resisting. Like, oh, I do want to resist this thing. Even reframing that is amazing because you can reframe resistance resistance going to the gym like man other guys feel this and I don't listen to it I'll still go to the gym I'll still get in shape the feeling to like want to eat some Ben and Jerry's late at night you know I do I love that shit but getting that reframing that feeling away from something bad at, into something like oh man thank god everybody else also gets these urges to eat junk food because that means that I get a leg up every time I get an urge like that someone else gets an urge and then I don't do it, that's fucking awesome. Every time I feel resistance to talking to this girl, I mean, honestly, this is a really good mindset that if you take anything away from this video, I kind of just made this up on the spot. Every time you feel resistance to talking to a beautiful woman, some other guy in that vicinity is also feeling that resistance and you get to get a leg up on that guy by going up and talking to her, right? Like that's amazing, that's awesome. It's actually, every time you feel resistance, there's an opportunity to resist that resistance, to push through that resistance and do something that another guy is not doing. And life is kind of inherently competition. The last way you can feel more entitled is by pushing yourself to do things that you wouldn't normally do. You don't feel entitled to good things in your life because you don't do anything that's different. You've been doing the same shit for years. 
You've been having the same thought process, the same mindsets. So doing things that make you uncomfortable, that push you to be a different person, those are going to make you more entitled to good things happening in your life. And I promise you, if you follow these steps, if you actually embrace entitlement and you really feel fucking entitled as fuck when you go up to a beautiful woman, you will notice she will treat you different because other people want to follow everybody in general. No one's a natural born leader. Very few people. Everybody wants to follow some leader. And so if you go up with a sense of entitlement, the initial reaction, even from a beautiful woman, is not skepticism. It's like, oh, this guy feels entitled. I guess I should just go along with this guy. Oh, oh, okay. And obviously you have to look the part. You can't drop your looks. You can't drop, you can't just look like shit, but it doesn't take that much to look like you're at least somewhat of a leader. Just dress a little better. Wear some nicely fitted shirts. You don't even have to be in crazy shape. All right. Hopefully this video helps. I see a lot of you guys with this doomer mindset in the comments and it's, it's fucking sad, man. It's fucking sad. You gotta drop that shit immediately. All right. Now, if you want to be coached by me personally on how to implement these mindsets, how to actually have the skills to feel entitled around beautiful for women when you go out and you approach when you meet women at night or during the day then you can apply for mentorship down below or you can join my school community if you don't want to drop thousands of dollars on mentorship 54 dollars a month you get tons of content connections all around the world there's over 100 guys in there already so i will see you guys in the next video peace